Seasoned, hard-working Americans and recent graduates are finding it more difficult to develop a career without knowing whether or not the job market will work in their favor. One exception to this trend can be seen in the world of the electric lineman. With increasing technological requirements of the electric lineman occupation, like working with the all-important interwoven grid of electrical conductors, switching and monitoring devices, along with protective relaying and metering equipment, and more, proper training and safety are a must. Nash Community College offers the only comprehensive lineman training program in North Carolina. NCC's Electric Lineman Technology Program consists of classroom instruction, hands-on line construction training, electrical theory, basic math and communication skills, power generation, transmission and distribution concepts, and of course, climbing poles. Our situation is that as the world has become so much more complex, the world of the electric lineman has become so much more complex. And today's lineman needs the old skills. He needs to be able to climb, he needs to be able to work with tools, he needs to understand the mechanics of things, but he also has to be just about as comfortable with a computer as he is with his climbing hooks. And our program is geared to provide that type of training. So what we're doing here isn't, isn't aimed at trying to develop somebody's ability to go out and, and carry shovels, dig holes, climb poles, and that's all. The people that come out of this program are going to be the people that are going to eventually be moving up in the positions uh, into supervisory operations, planning. Uh, they are going to have a combination of theory, they're going to have uh, the, the practical hands-on, and they're going to have a very strong focus on safety. The Electric Lineman Academy awards students a third-class electric lineman certificate in one semester including 400 hours of combined classroom and construction training. Upon completion, the student is qualified for employment as an entry-level line technician. I was looking for a career uh, that would be able to be around here um, and be able to get a job. Um, and just know that there was job security in it because everybody has needs electricity. Uh, it's very challenging. Um, it was hard uh, at first with the climbing, um, being able to get in shape uh, and just being able to handle it. Um, the schoolwork was challenging, being able to look at it after school and be able to understand it. Um, you really have to look at it. Um, and everything's just really challenging about it. Students completing the certificate have the option of continuing their education leading to a diploma or an associate in applied science degree in electric lineman technology and can continue their education at NCC through online courses or through cooperative agreements with other community colleges. During the Lineman Academy, we provide classroom training in electrical theory and troubleshooting, circuit analysis, power systems components and operation including three-phase transformer banking, PPE and protective grounding, substation operation and components, as well as a general overview of overhead and underground line work. The field component of the training includes framing and building single and three-phase overhead lines, pole top rescue techniques, bucket truck operation, and underground residential distribution systems. We also provide extensive training in free climbing, hitchhiking, and in the use of the Buckingham Buck Squeeze system. Our training especially emphasizes the overriding requirements of safety and teamwork in every aspect of our work. Safety aspects are important uh, because everything in our job that we're going into, uh, it, everything revolves around safety and being able to go home at night. When I was in high school, I knew I wanted to you know, work outside and be outside, so I had an um, internship with Edgecombe Martin. So they told me you know, I needed to come to this school and get the education and get the outside experience and then can kind of get my foot in the door. And the uh, internship just led me to the school. My philosophy here is that uh, we need to find out 
whether an individual has those capabilities. And we do that by, by pushing them pretty hard, physically and mentally. And if they're motivated, we will help them get through this program. We prepare the students for the construction and skilled trades test, which all prospective line workers must pass to be considered by the investor-owned utilities such as Progress Energy, Dominion Power, and Duke Energy. It is a difficult time test that covers mathematical and special reasoning, mechanical knowledge, and reading comprehension. On average, only one out of three candidates passes this test. We are very proud to be able to say that, to date, every one of our students that has taken the test has passed it. We also prepare our students to take the permit test for the commercial driver's license. This license is a requirement for line workers. The nation's industries and citizens depend on our electrical infrastructure operating at its optimum. To operate effectively, the electrical distribution system must be maintained by people who know what they're doing. It is impossible to clear a fault on a 34,500 volt power line via video conference or repair a damaged transformer operating at 765,000 volts online. It takes men and women properly trained and on-site to physically perform the necessary work. It is safe to say that the job of the power line technician will not be exported overseas anytime soon. It was different than I expected. I, uh, it was a lot tougher. You know, physically too, I didn't expect, you know, so much work. Yes, sir. And uh, it, it was tough. A lot of climbing, a lot of hard work. I went home a lot of nights real sore. I woke up so the next day. I learned a lot about electricity. I didn't really know anything about it before. Learned a lot of the basics. Learned to climb. Learned a lot of stuff that gave me a head start over someone off the street you know, going to apply for a job. We learned a lot about electricity and what it can do, and you know you can't see it, and uh, you know what you're supposed to do to keep yourself safe and look out for the others. I really enjoy it. I you know work outside every day, and we might be digging a ditch one day and climbing a pole that afternoon or building a substation part of a year and going on to something else. The fact that I could continue to work, work outdoors and can continue to provide a service for people and work in a professional type environment all at the same time, that's what appealed to me the most. I found out about the school through a friend who works for a an electrical contractor, and as soon as I found out about the school, I took it from there and applied and made the sacrifice uh, for those three months that I was here, and fortunately got a job not long after I got out. However, a lineman career is not for everyone. The electric lineman requires physical stamina and the ability to focus on the job as though life itself depended on it. In addition, you have to consider the pressure of performing the most difficult tasks during extreme inclement weather. But because the electric lineman receives continuous training throughout the year in the technical aspects of the job, with safety as paramount importance, there are actually fewer linemen injured on the job than in occupations such as farming and manufacturing. Today's linemen are equipped with bucket trucks, state-of-the-art personal protective equipment, specialized tools, and monitors. In the electrical distribution business, training, safety, and proper equipment make all the difference. Working environments can encompass extremes of temperature, hurricanes, blizzards, and ice storms. However, most line technicians will admit there's nothing else they would rather be doing because this is when they are at peak performance. Linemen enjoy the fulfillment that comes with a hard day's work and a strong sense of accomplishment. When the storms do come, the lineman is likened to a good Samaritan. He or she gets electricity flowing again so you can go back to life as normal. We've had students here that have been 17 or 18 years old and we've had students as old as 45 and on both ends of the spectrum we have gotten uh, successful graduates that have gone out and gotten jobs. There seems to be um, the commonality that I see in these students is that for whatever reason they have decided that they, they want to be electric linemen. 
and, and that is something that develops over time. It, it may be because they want to help people, it may be because they like, they like the idea of the work. It may be the combination that this is a profession that gives us uh, very, very good job security. This is not the type of job that can be replaced by somebody on a computer or by somebody in another country. These jobs are going to be here and in fact the, uh, the situation with our, our national electrical infrastructure is such that uh, there are going to be many more major improvements in the next 15 to 20 years requiring a fairly high level of knowledge of, of electrical systems. National Public Radio, NPR, has reported on the growing need for linemen in our country. They estimated that within the next few years, half of the nation's 400,000 utility workers will be eligible for retirement. Plan for the future now in a career that will always be in demand.